Attorney General William Biaruhanga led the government team in responding to the appeal filed in the Supreme Court challenging the amendment of the Constitution to remove the presidential age limits. Last year, majority justices of the Constitutional Court upheld the amendments. Biaruhanga asked the justices to dismiss the appeal, saying it was speculative and that the appellants did not point out the errors they claimed were made by the Constitutional Court justices. And we pray, my lords, that all the three constitutional appeals, that is numbers 2, 3, and 4 of 2018, are dismissed with costs to the respondents. We do pray that you be pleased, my lord, to declare the entire amendment bill now and void. Biarohanga also told the highest court in the land that parliament has the power to amend the constitution whenever necessary on behalf of the people as long as the basic structure is not tampered with. However, Chief Justice Bad Katurebe reminded him of Article 79 which puts restrictions. Giving parliament power to enact an act of parliament, the sole purpose of which is to amend the constitution by way either of addition, variation or repeal of any pro provision in accordance with the procedure laid down in Chapter 18. And now the question you would have to answer is whether the law made answers this imperative in Article 79. Is it for the good order, peace, good governance, security of Uganda? If it answers that, then you would be answering the, the, the basic structure. But uh, uh, as of now, you are not doing so. No, no which is which, what we are submitting. Parliamentary rules of procedure provide that a bill is supposed to be debated three days after it is tabled on the floor of the House, which was not done in amending Article 102B to remove the 75-year upper presidential age limit. The justices tasked Deputy Attorney General Mwesgur Kutana to explain the irregularity. This is the rule made for Parliament for orderly debate of bills. Lay it on the table. People have not solved it. The country has not solved it. Members may access it. It's now the property of the House. Give it three days and debate. But you seem to be saying because Parliament has power to change it, so we change it and debate within an hour. I think you need to tell court that it was so urgent. The bill, the, the bill was so urgent. It was in national interest that the matter be attended to as quickly as possible that there had been a lot of time squandering by members of parliament trying to, to oppose the introduction of the bill. Parliament had taken into its time allotted for the enactment of that bill and it had, it had become so urgent that the bill be handled without further delay. Now I'm wondering whether those mistakes that were made and you ended up discussing and passing on constitutional things were well, because of the hurry with which you are dealing with the bill. No, my lord. Rukutana justified the army's invasion of the parliamentary chambers to remove MPs the speaker had suspended. However, the justices wondered why Speaker Rebecca Kadaga later wrote to President Yori Museveni seeking an explanation on why soldiers invaded parliament. People come in and take away members of parliament and whatever followed. The speaker now says, I don't know who are those people. Why couldn't the speaker just call the sergeant at arms and say, who are these people who did this, so that the sergeant at arms says, I did it? Why did it come an issue? The chronology of events was that the speaker first asked the members to move out. The members refused. She shouted again, please move out. The members refused. No, the speaker doesn't shout. <laughs> she called upon them. Why would the speaker then be writing to the president to inquire as how people were removed from her house? Well, because there was, a, well, I, I think the speaker didn't consult with us. We would have advised us. <laughs> The Deputy Attorney General also found a hard time explaining why the President assented to a bill with fewer clauses compared to what Parliament had passed and whether he would advise the President to assent to such a bill. My lords, I would advise the President to sign. <laughs> Earlier, in his closing remarks, 
Attorney General William Biaruhanga asked the court to dismiss Malema Biris's appeal, claiming that he filed it before even the president assented to the bill. However, Mabirizi said he was confident that the bill had many irregularities and could not stand. All the actions were illegal. So I, I sought for a temporary injunction, which was overtaken by events. So my petition is properly before court. I particularly wish to thank Mr. Mabirizi because although not an advocate, I think by the time he put in research and presentation, I think he has enriched the, the, the submissions that we have received. Under the law, the justices have 60 days to give their verdict. Chief Justice Bad Katurebe said the court would give its verdict on notice. Ali Mivole, NTV. Yes.